by this award and from people who I respect more than I can say. I, I, I'm so gratified that we have magnificent representation like Javier and Didier and Ken Salazar and all of these great people here in Washington to look after our interests and to create a better future for us. And I want to give them and the Congressional Hispanic Caucus Institute a tremendous ovation for the magnificent work that they do. Thank you all. And I, you've given me a gift, so I'm going to give you one. I'm, the El Norte has just been recently been released, a beautiful new DVD of it on Criterion. And uh, so, Nidia, Javier, and I'm going to give one to every member of the caucus as soon as I get all their information. But thank you all very much. Um, and to the Congressional Hispanic Caucus for this magnificent honor and for the fine work that you do. Um, and to Secretary Ken Salazar and also to the Director of the Smithsonian Latino Center, Eduardo Diaz. And I would also like to thank Luis Vasquez from Maya, uh, National Multicultural Marketing, for arranging this and for setting this up and for bringing me here to be with you today. 25 years ago, I was a young filmmaker just out of film school, and I had a great passion a great desire. I wanted to make a film that would bring a heart and a soul to the shadows that I saw pervading Los Angeles and our entire nation. The shadows that did all the work, mowed all the lawns, took care of all the babies, picked all the fruit, cooked all the food, but who were not seen, who were, whose humanity was not embraced. And I wanted to make a film that would give them and in a sense, all of us, a heart and a soul. I told the story of Rosa and Enrique, two young people from Guatemala who came to this country to work and to seek a better life. And the movie was, they told me, impossible to get made, but it took many years of love and passion, dogheadedness. But we finally got it made for almost no money. And of course, as we all know, it was a tremendous success. It changed my life and made me an important filmmaker. It... It uh, was very successful both commercially and critically. But it was the effect that it had for people that was to me the gross gratifying, you know? There was debate about immigration reform at that time. And the fact that there was a movie in theaters that showed that people coming here are the same as immigrants have always come here for the same reason that they're fine people, people to not fear, and they make a contribution, that that was in the air, that that was being seen, helped frame the debate around the Simpson Rizzoli immigration reform in 1985. And Two and a half million people receive citizenship as a result of that. And the Mayan people who I made this film about received refugee status. And I stood with them and wept when they became citizens of the United States. And when I did that, when I was there, I said, this is why America is great. This is why we are a great nation, and a good nation. We need immigration reform in our country now. And we need immigration reform that embraces the humanity of the shadows that are here. And this debate must be framed with compassion and humanity, and not with hate. We need in the media more movies, more television shows. We need to tell our story. We need to be there in people's homes, on the television, the small screen, seeing us, who we are, the wonderful people that we are. Not gang people, not criminals, but good-hearted, great people who have been here, as Secretary Salafran was saying, building this nation from the beginning. 
And we need a museum that will tell our story and show that we have shed our blood and poured our sweat to build this nation and defend this nation. Our community, I feel, is in a great crisis. We all know that. But I believe when there is a great crisis, there is also great opportunity. These magnificent people who serve us fight their battles in the halls of government every day for us. But we are all part of this struggle, and we must all be part of this struggle if we are Latino in this country. Me in the media, the bricklayer, the farm worker, all of us, the teachers, we are all together to create a better future for us and for the entire nation. Right now is our moment. And I sincerely believe that we will rise to this occasion and that we will do it because, yes, we can. Si sí se puede. Just one more, a couple more things I'd like to say. People say, well, how can I see El Norte? I want to see it, you know? Uh, obviously, you can get the DVD, and tomorrow at 4.30, I will be doing a discussion of the movie and showing scenes and talking about it at uh, the National Press Club, if anybody wants to come to that. And uh, that will be 4.30 in Holman Lounge. And finally, people are always saying to you, what are you doing next? Okay, that was great. Okay, now what next? Right now, I'm working on what I think is the most important project I've ever done in my life. It is an enormous 10-part, 10 10-hour 10 miniseries for HBO based on Victor Villasenor's magnificent book, The Reign of Gold. And this project is like our roots. It is powerfully moving. People say, oh, it's like roots. It's like the Godfather. It is, but it's also different because it's Latino, so it's a love story. But it's a magnificent piece. I'm deeply honored to be doing it. And I feel that it will be historic and a landmark event when, we, uh, when it gets made. Again, thank you all very, very much. Thank you.